inhibitors of electron transport chain. In this particular topic, we are not only going to discuss about the inhibitors of electron transport chain, we are also going to discuss about the inhibitors of the oxidative phosphorylation along with uncouplers. So, here we have four subtopics in this. First one is the inhibitors of electron transfer. Second one is the inhibitors of oxidative phosphorylation. And next we will discuss about the uncouplers of oxidative phosphorylation and at last we will talk about ionophores. First let us talk about what are the inhibitors of electron transfer. At the complex 1 which means between NADH and coenzyme Q, an insecticide and a fish poison rotenone, amobarbital which is a barbiturate and the pyricide in A. All these three poisons inhibits the complex 1. Next one is the inhibitors of the complex 2. The inhibitors of complex 2, the first one is TTFA, which means it is called as trianoyl trifluoroacetone, which is a iron chelating agent. And second one is the carboxin. And the third one is the malonate, which is the competitive inhibitor of the succinate dehydrogenase. All these three inhibits complex 2 of electron transport chain. And now between cytochrome B and cytochrome C, that is the inhibitors of complex 3. The inhibitors of complex 3 are A and B, which means A stands for anti-mycin A and B stands for British anti-levisite, which is also called as dimercaprol. These are the two inhibitors which inhibits the complex 3. And what about the inhibitors of the complex 4, which is also called as cytochrome C oxidase. These inhibitors are carbon monoxide, cyanide, hydrogen sulfide and sodium azide. All these four are the inhibitors of the complex 4. So, if you see the overall list from complex 1 to complex 4, all these are the specific inhibitors of the electron transport chain from 1 to 4. Now, let us talk about the inhibitors of the oxidative phosphorylation, which is the ATP synthase complex 5. So, the first one is atractylocyte is the important inhibitor of uh, the oxidative phosphorylation. So, it is the one inhibits the transportation of ADP in as well as ATP out of the mitochondria. If ADP is not coming in as well as if the ATP so formed, if it is not going out. So, we can say that increased concentration of ATP inside the matrix blocks oxidative phosphorylation. So, attractylocyte does the same. And an important antibiotic called as oligomycin. So, oligomycin completely blocks oxidation and phosphorylation, which means oxidative phosphorylation by blocking the flow of protons through F0 complex of the ATP synthase. Next one is venturicidin. This venturicidin inhibits F0 complex and aurovertin is a new one which inhibits the F1 subcomplex. These are the inhibitors of oxidative phosphorylation. Next, let us talk about what are the uncouplers of oxidative phosphorylation. The important mechanism of action of these uncouplers are, these are responsible for disruption of proton gradient across the inner mitochondrial membrane. Whenever we talk about uncouplers, think about it disrupts electrochemical gradient across inner mitochondrial membrane. These are 2,4-dinitrophenol, FCCP, which is also called as fluorocarbonyl cyanide phenylhydrazine, and aspirin in high dose is also considered to be an important uncoupler. Not only the uncouplers in the form of drugs and external agents, we also have the physiological uncouplers in the body. An important one is the thermogenin. Thermogenin is also called as uncoupling protein 1, which is mainly located in the brown adipose tissue responsible for thermogenesis, production of heat in the body. And next one is called as thyroxin. 
a thyroid hormone and the long chain free fatty acid also acts as an uncoupler along with unconjugated bilirubin. All these are the physiological uncouplers. So after the uncouplers, let us go into the last concept of uh, the inhibitors of ETC as well as oxidative phosphorylation which is ionophores. Ionophores are channel formers. They create an ion channel which permits specific cations to penetrate membranes. So whenever these specific cations penetrate these membranes, it dissipates proton gradient. So like uncouplers, but mechanism is different, but these are also disrupting, dissipating the proton gradient. So these are valinomycin, gramicidin, and nigricin. So all these three are the important ionophores. By this we completed the topic called as inhibitors of electron transport chain as well as the inhibitors of oxidative phosphorylation and uncouplers and ionophores.